Hello and welcome to this short video from Toolcraft Plastics. We're a family company based in Swindon offering a complete product design to injection molding service. We draw on more than 35 years of experience to manufacture quality plastic moldings. Today I'd like to help you obtain accurate quotes for plastic moldings. This video is intended for people who don't have much experience in getting injection molding quotes. Before you embark on getting quotes for a new plastic injection molding, it will help you to specify exactly what you need. Seemingly small spec changes may have enormous influence on the price of the mouldings. Bearing the points in this short guide in mind can save you a lot of time and avoid unpleasant surprises down the line. Before going into cost factors in more detail, I want to give you a very short introduction to the plastic injection moulding process. To make an injection moulding, a plastic injection moulding machine forces melted plastic material into a mould tool. The mould tool cavities give the plastic product its shape. Once the material has cooled and is set in shape, the mould tool opens and the finished product is ejected. The tool then closes to allow the cycle to begin again. The total cost of your plastic mouldings will consist of the cost of mould tool design and mould tool manufacture, as well as the cost of the plastic material and the injection moulding process. In this video I explore what information is needed to allow your moulding company to give you a correct quote. Here at Toolcraft we very often get quote requests with incomplete information. Often that's because not all information is known yet. That's no problem, but if you're at that stage of product realisation, be aware that the end cost may look very different to the quotes obtained at this stage. In the rest of this video, I explain why it is essential to tell your moulding company 1. how big the part is 2. how many you need 3. the plastic material required and 4. whether the design is finalised for the plastic injection moulding process. Some of these may seem very obvious, but they affect more cost factors than you may expect. It is impossible to say how big the moulding in this image is. So when you're getting quotes, make sure you provide detailed sizes on sketches or photos. Of course, if we get a drawing without sizes, we just ask for them. But you can prevent a game of email ping pong by making sure you provide the sizes to your plastic moulder straight away. Quoting is possible with approximate sizes, but remember, the final cost may be very different. Carry on watching to find out how the size of the product determines the cost. The size of a moulding affects 1. The plastic material cost. The size of the moulding obviously determines the amount of plastic material needed to make it, and so the bigger it is, the higher the material cost will be. 2. Mould tool material cost. The size of the moulding affects the size of the injection mould tool. A bigger moulding will require a bigger mould tool and so will cost more steel or aluminium to make the tool. 3. Mould tool machining time. A larger mould tool will take longer to CNC machine and so will be more expensive. 4. Mould tool labour cost. Mould tool makers are a highly skilled bunch of people. A larger tool will take more of their time and time is money. And 5. Injection moulding machine size. A larger injection moulding tool will require a larger injection moulding machine. A bigger machine uses more energy and is therefore more expensive to run. Before you start getting those moulding quotes in, try to be as realistic as you can about your sales. If you get a quote for 10,000 mouldings, but you order only 5,000 in the end, your part price will shoot up. Carry on watching to find out why. Plastic moulding materials or polymers are much cheaper when they're bought in larger batches. If you get a quote for a much higher quantity of mouldings than you eventually need, the costings will be way out. Many injection moulding companies will set a minimum order price. This is necessary to cover running costs. If the quantity of parts you order does not cover the minimum order price, your cost per part will also go up. If you obtain the quote for 10,000 mouldings to start with, your moulder may have priced for a multi-impression tool. Multi-impression mould tools can mean huge savings per part. There's a higher initial cost for the mould tool, but a much lower price per moulding. If you drop your quantity, a multi-impression tool may no longer be cost-effective and the price per part will go up. 
If you expect low quantities at first, but good sales growth later on, it may be worth having the tool made with some so-called blanks, so that it can be turned into a multi-impression tool later on. Before getting those quotes in, think very carefully about what the product needs to be able to do and what it needs to look like. There are very many different polymers out there and a good plastic molder will be able to advise you on your choice. There are several reasons why you need to be careful with the material you specify on your quote request. There are many reasons why changing to a higher spec material will drive up the price of the product. Firstly, specialist or technical materials will simply be more expensive. Different materials also have different melting and setting points, which may result in a considerably longer cycle time. This also drives up the molding price. What you may not have realized is that the polymer choice can also affect the cost of the injection molding tool. Some materials can only be molded in a steel tool, which is more expensive than an aluminium alloy tool. And the properties of certain materials may require more runners to ensure correct mold fill, which will also drive up the cost. You should avoid specifying brand grades on your drawings. A brand grade can go out of production which may cause problems years down the line. But more importantly, if you are stuck with using a specific brand, your molder can't compare prices for materials with the same properties from a different manufacturer. You'll probably get a better price if you give a generic description, for example 10% glass filled polycarbonate, rather than Lexan 500R. Finally, before you get your quotes, you need to make sure the design is manufacturing ready. Design agencies are great at designing a beautiful product, but the design of a plastic product is not the same as the design of a plastic mold tool. A mold tool needs radii and draft angles to allow correct unmolding. It needs careful thought on where the material is going to enter the mold and how that affects the look of the product. The mold tool should be designed to avoid locked in features as they require a special mold tool with withdrawing parts which drives the tooling cost up enormously. Of course, if you need those features, we have the skill to do it for you. Just about any design can be accommodated, at a price. A conscientious experienced molder will be able to advise if your design needs work, or can tell you if there's a more economical way of making the part. Toolcraft Plastics provides a complete design tool making and plastic injection molding service. Our experienced engineers can help you with material choice and design considerations. Are you ready to get a molding quote from a molder who knows their business inside out and who will help you achieve great results? Get in touch via our website www.toolcraft.co.uk or call us on 01793 641 040. If this video has been of use to you, please leave some feedback. You can also watch some of the other videos on our channel. We look forward to working with you on your next injection molding project.